That's the uh, that's what I've done to fix it. Uh, just use sheet styrene. Hey everybody, Walt here, and this is going to be my final update for the Linden Group build. Uh, this is my Lindbergh 135th scaled SD KFZ 222. And uh, this is it. Time to go to something else. Um, things I've done with it. Uh, cut this back back here and uh, put a uh, put a mesh here. This window screening for the uh, engine compartment. Um, same thing was up here on the turret. Uh, screened in the uh, the frame. Um, just kind of turn it around. Uh, right here, this is the fender I had so much issue with, and it turned out pretty decent. So pretty happy with that. Um, uh, also did a uh, did a uh, made a uh, tow cable that's just stranded wire, and I just put a loop at the end and bonded it together just to make a uh, tow cable and it helps out a lot more than the uh, the molded on one that was on here uh, and it looks a little bit more in scale to what it should be uh, that's basically it uh, just kinda give you an idea show you this this is just a your average 135th scale figure I'll put it right up next to it, and that gives you an idea of how big the kit is, uh, or you know, for scale wise, uh, from all the picture I've seen, you know, with with people standing next to it, you know, this this vehicle is a lot smaller than than that. So that's what I'm saying. Thinking maybe one thirty second, maybe, maybe even bigger. I don't know. Uh, but just see, this is actually a, the figure that they give you give you with the kit, and you can see the wheel is almost as big as the uh, the figure. So bad, bad Lindbergh, bad, 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 bad. But I know when this thing was made, you know they weren't looking at that. It was you know it was marketed to really kids who wouldn't have cared. So uh, that's it. But yeah, I'd finish it up with a uh, with a winter wash. Um, and then, you know, wiped off where the, uh, where the, uh, the decals were. Um, and I had to actually go back through and put some more white on it just to kind of give it a look of like it's been wiped off, like an afterthought of after they winter washed it in the field. Uh, somebody decided, well, you know, it's probably a good idea to have some insignia showing on there. So if somebody took a rag and wiped it down, you know. Uh, but that's it. Uh, that right there. The other little thing I was going to show you real quick. This is kind of fun. Uh, just showing you from the box art. The, the, the guy that put this together. You know. To display the model. Uh, even this guy had issues with this kit it looks like. Uh, you, know, you can't really see it too well. But right here where the antennas stick out. It looks like it got snapped off in there. So. Uh, up here where they had the molded on tools you know he's not going to take that off because he's just going to just kind of show the straight product without any kind of modifications but as you see he just kind of added incorporated the uh, the tools in with the uh, with the uh, the chipping there with the rusted area right here and the most glaring thing right here back on the back Didn't even put the mufflers on, so I kind of got got a big kick out of that. But that's it. Uh, hope everybody's builds are going good. I've been checking them out as much as possible, not as much as I usually can, but slowly. Hopefully, I'm trying to catch back up with a lot of people's uh, videos. Until next time.
Y'all have fun.